Okay, y'all. I just got my new banner. It goes that I'm gonna use standing out in front of different churches that the Lord leads me to stand out in front of. That's not preaching the narrow and straight is the way, and few there be that find it. And without holiness, no one shall see God. Lot, lot, lot of false churches making counterfeit fake Christians in America. So uh, that's one side of my banner, right there. And uh, I'm gonna go over there and flip it around, and let you see the other side. Flip it over. There's the other side. This church seduces and deceives you and makes hypocrites. Yep, that's the overwhelming majority of churches in America right there. And I know this for a fact. Been to many of them and know the doctrine of many of them. And I, I know uh, through the years of sharing with quote unquote people that say they're Christian slash saved that uh, most of them aren't living holy and obeying God. They say they love God, love Jesus, but they're not living holy. They've been seduced and deceived, as Paul says in Scriptures. You see that 2 Timothy 3 and 4 on there? Uh, it says, uh, in the last days, they'll turn their ears, they'll be seducers, and they'll be deceivers, be... Being deceived and deceiving others, turn their ears away from the truth, and uh, uh, believe fables or myths. Like it's only by faith. Uh, nowhere in the Bible does it say it's only by faith. It says it's by grace through faith. It doesn't say only. Uh, Jesus said, "Strive to enter into the narrow and straight gate, leads into the kingdom of heaven, and few there be that find it." You see that Matthew 7.22 right there? At 7.21? Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall inherit the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So we got to do something. Jesus said, repent or perish. Yep, he said, now rowing straight is the way. You're my friends if you keep my commandments. And uh, there's a lot, lot of things. Jesus said, he that hears these sayings of mine, plural, and does them is likened to a wise man that built his house upon a solid foundation. And uh, so anyway, uh, that is my new banner. That banner with tax cost me $190. But I'm trying to bear fruit. I love my fellow man. I was once deceived. So, uh, I don't want other people to be deceived. They need to get into God's Word. Study the Word. We need to study the Word, ladies and gentlemen. We're commanded to study the Word. S Scripture says, Study the Word to show yourself approved unto God. A workman. A workman that needs not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the Word of truth. Yep. Rightly. Boy, it is, it is ever being unrightly divided. I hear it. When I go out there to hold this sign up, I'm sure I'll hear it from uh, from others walking into whatever our church that I'm standing out in front of. But uh, the Lord's warning the people. There's a there's there's a, a, a very few people, but there is but, but but I believe there are very there are few, not many, and most quote-unquote churches in America uh, uh, and they know they know they're not hearing the whole truth but they continue to go because they're comfortable they they got a lot of friends in the church and uh, you, you know they, they just don't want to leave even though they know they're not hearing the whole truth but as the other side of my sign says and I'm gonna I think it, I should turn it around again for in this video where the Lord says, 
Hold on a minute. Come out of her, my people. Okay. We will be held accountable by God for going to a church slash assembly that's not preaching the whole truth, the narrow and straight way, as Scripture says, as Jesus said Himself, and, with, and as Paul said, without holiness no one shall see God. To be a friend of the world is to be an enemy of God. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is eternal life and peace. Paul said, let everyone, everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from sin. And, uh, but they, they'll, they'll unrightly divide many of Paul's words and never quote those and uh, try to justify sin in their life. And the false preachers make them feel good uh, to do so. And the false preachers actually deceive them and that's why they do believe this, believe what they believe. Uh, but uh, I love y'all. Pray for me. And uh, uh, I love my fellow man. I hate Satan. He is the enemy. But he's got so many false pastors that's made so many counterfeit false converts slash Christians. And uh, uh, America's got many, many, many Christian churches, many, many Christian churches, and many, many so-called Christian pastors. But, but, but look how much sin is in the church. Fornicators, people having sex outside of marriage. I listened to a sermon by David Wilkerson this morning. Talked about if a person can have sin in their life uh, and, and sit in a church, the preacher ain't doing his job right. Okay? Uh, uh, you know, it reminds me of how my wife could leave me after 41 and a half years of marriage. And uh, I did no wrong. Literally did no wrong. The, the bottom line is I was too into Jesus that caused too much uncalmness in her life from our sons and maybe even from other people that she knew. I don't know. Uh, but uh, uh, so, so she, 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 she now sits in a church that tickles her ears while yet according to God's word she, she committed many willful sins against me and against God. Uh, and, uh, but yet she can literally sit in a church and be deceived and made to believe she loves God. Yet the word says, he that loves, Jesus said, he that loves father, mother, brother, sister, son, daughter, husband, wife, anyone, anything. He even said themselves. He that loves anyone, anything, uh, uh, themselves more than me cannot be my disciple. But the false preacher says, no, all you got to do is believe and accept Jesus. And he comes into your heart. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've learned from my personal experience, the Lord is not going to come inside of us until we're willing to lay all our sin down and live holy uh, and, and, and love Him more than anyone or anything, including ourself. Okay, he said we must deny ourself. And, uh, uh, but yet I was made to believe, no, God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, whosoever believes in Him should not perish, now they've changed that some version and say will not perish, but have everlasting life. And they'll just stop right there, unrightly divide, pluck that scripture out and say, all you got to do is believe and you got everlasting life. Yep, Satan is the master deceiver, ladies and gentlemen. And he knows how to unrightly divide God's holy word. Thus, we have a bunch of hypocrites. Uh, uh, and, and, and many of them on their road to hell because they don't want to study the Word with an open mind and an open heart. And uh, they'd rather believe they can have Jesus and still have some sin every now and then when it's convenient for them. But may the Lord bless y'all. Pray for me.